What is up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back with more action figure cars today. This is not a die cast. This is the 1993 Tiger Toys Inspector Gadget Gadget Mobile. This has been on my toy bucket list forever and it has been kind of pricey. So I've been watching them on eBay the past couple years and this one came across. It had everything I wanted, it had most of the stickers, the mirror is still intact, um, everything looked pretty good. So I splurged on it and bought it. They're not super expensive, but this one shipped was around $140. So it is a little pricey for what it is, but I wanted it for so long, I'm just really happy to have it, um, despite any condition issues or anything like that. So if you're familiar with Inspector Gadget at all, it was a show that was on, an animated show that was on from like 1983 maybe, 84, um, to the early 90s. And then it was on reruns for a long, I mean I'm sure it's probably still on like Disney Plus or one of the streaming services now. But um, in the show, Inspector Gadget with, I believe it was his niece Penny and dog Brain, they drove around in his gadget mobile. And it changed from the van you see here into a two door like DeLorean kind of Nissan Z mix of a hatchback car from kind of like your quintessential 80s, 90s hatchback from Japan. So a cool thing about this car is that it does the same thing. It transforms from this van into the two-door car. So um, it's a little odd shaped, it's super wide, but that is because it's meant for action figures. So the, what is it, the, you know, five to six inch, maybe four inch, um, Inspector Gadget action figures went here in the top. So. This is a pretty cool vehicle all around. So obviously it rolls, but the action is pretty simple on it, but I really like it because it, it does a lot of things. So the actual roof just pulls right out like that and it is two pieces and there is the hatchback um, for the coupe. And there you can see the louvers for the window. It's a pretty simple design. There in the back of the car, you can see that it's open and it fits either the hatchback or the van. And it's cool because it uh, it works. I don't know, even though these are two drastically different shapes, it both, they work. I don't, I don't know. So this slides back in there and there you have the hatchback uh, for the car. So it also has this really simple but clever sliding mechanism in it. So you basically just hold the car from one end to another, pull it and there is the two door hatchback. Um, the police, like his like police car decals um, are hidden underneath the, the front doors. So even though this is actually the bigger vehicle, this is now the coupe. So the front has a hood um, with headlights and it actually, let's see if I can get it, pops up just like that, snaps in there like so, and it's pretty simple. That is it, there is the two-door gadget mobile. Now I know that's simple and it might seem weird, but this is so cool. As a kid who used to watch Inspector Gadget, like this car was awesome. This is the only version of the car they made that was available in the States. Um, another brand made a similar car that was actually more accurate to the show, but to buy those now, it's in the thousands of dollars. They are crazy expensive. They're all sold internationally across the ocean from the United States, so this is the one we got. But this thing is so cool. I just love playing with it. I love looking at it, and I've, I've probably transformed it 10 times since I got it in the mail the other day. I really like it. So there in the bottom, you can kind of see the mechanism. It like just slides just like that internally um, and makes the van. So just to reiterate, we'll, I'll show you how it turns back into the van. So basically you just slide the um, hood back in there and it reveals um, the front van parts. Basically just squish the vehicle like this. Squishes it and pulled this front part up there to make it flat for the van. And then you of course just flip this over and boom, we have the van back again. So even though this was a simple video, it's a pretty simple thing, it's so cool. I wish we had more toys like this today that are simple and, you know, I don't wanna be like the old guy, but less electronics. This has so much play value and all it is is a stupid sliding mechanism. Like, this is so cheap and easy to do. Like, it would be awesome to see a Batmobile or even some kind of like Hot Wheels product do the same thing. Really cool, tons of play value, especially if you actually have the figures um, and the Dr. Claw vehicles and all the other things. So 
that was the 1993 Tiger Toys Inspector Gadget Gadget Mobile. A pretty short video, but short and sweet. Shows you the good stuff. I really like this car overall. Um, let me know in the comments if you have one or if you had one when you, you were a kid or now that you've seen it, if you want one or are gonna buy one because this thing is so killer. I really, really like it. Um, this part in the front, this is one thing that I might actually 3D print or do something when you press it it's supposed to bring these together but mine is a little worn out so I need to take it apart but it like clamps um, when you like basically when you like press against a bad guy it was supposed to clamp shut mine's a little worn out and then now that I actually have one I might sneak another one off eBay um, maybe even like a parts one to help clean up some of the parts that are less um, clean or mint condition on this one and start like really putting these together nicely so Cool, I love it. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Again, if you had it, let me know, or if you're gonna get it, or or have seen them in person or played with them because this is a ton of fun. So, again, Sam, 64 Wheels, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Lamely Group, all the good places. Hit me up on social media, tag me on your cool finds or questions, because I do have a lot of die casts. I'm pretty knowledgeable about some things. Other things, I'm not at all, so. But I like interacting with people, especially when it comes to old toys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, thanks guys.